Welcome. In a previous video, I did an unboxing and set up a Raspberry Pi 4, and I'll put a link in the description to my Raspberry playlist where you can find all my previous Raspberry Pi videos. I'll also put a link to the hardware I'm using, and if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So in this video, I'm going to be using iPerf3 benchmarking software to test the networking speed on the Raspberry Pi 4. So the previous models of Raspberry Pi supported 100 megabit ethernet, and the Raspberry Pi 3 I think the 3 Plus maybe supported kind of gigabit Ethernet, but it wasn't full gigabit speed. I think it topped out at maybe 400 um, megabits per second. So this Raspberry Pi 4 is supposed to support actual gigabit Ethernet. So I'm logged into the character line interface. You can do this from the GUI also. I want to type sudo space apt space update, and that will load the latest software packages. And then I'll clear my screen here so it's easier to read. So I want to type sudo space apt space install space iperf3. I'll hit enter here. It's going to ask if I want to continue. I'll click yes. So I'll put a link in the description of my website where I'll put the commands I'm typing here. So you could copy them and paste them or at least read them off my website. Okay, so that's installed. I'll type clear. So I have an iperf server running on my MacBook. And the way you set that up is you type iperf3 space dash s. And that says server listening on 5201. But I'm just showing you on here, this is what I did on the MacBook. Now I want to connect to that. I want to type iperf3-c, and then I want to type the IP address of my server. So it's 192.168.7.200 is my IP address. I'll hit enter here. And now we're running the test. So it looks like we're getting 933, 945. So we're getting about 940 megabits per second, which is pretty acceptable for gigabit. You're not gonna get exactly one gigabit um, speed out of this. So one of the nice aspects of this having the gigabit ethernet is that you could run the iperf server on this and leave it running all the time. And then you could use it to benchmark other connections. You could connect back to the Raspberry Pi. So you can only uh, test as fast as your server is. So on the old Raspberry Pi, you couldn't test gigabit connections with it. So now I'm going to disconnect from the ethernet. And I'm going to test the Wi-Fi connection. Okay, so I've rebooted into the graphical mode and I've connected to a five gigahertz Wi-Fi uh, access point. So I want to type iperf3-c, and then I'll type the IP address of my server. So here we're getting, look, 90, 80, about 90 megabits per second. So Wi-Fi is a little different to test because there can be interference and things like that. Um, so this could be faster or slower depending on your uh, environment. So I'll show what it looks like if this is used as a server. So I'll clear the screen and I'll type iperf3-s and I'll hit enter. And now I'll go on my MacBook and I'll connect to this. So you see it's showing uh, that 200 and it's connecting back to it. So you're essentially testing the same connection, but it's a different way. So I could go to another computer and test it and we'd see the results on here too. So that's all for this video. If you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.